We think that if we do this the right way and we execute, not only will we be able to eliminate wasted energy, but this will be the way energy is built going forward. I'm going to dig into the wine if you don't mind. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Cheers. Enjoy. Cheers, man. Cheers. So you came up with a solution for your own problem, and it sounds like you said, okay, other people might have this problem. We have a solution for them. Right. How did you morph this like wind project in Morocco? How did you... What did you learn there and how did you take that to become really this whole Saluna computing business? Right. When you're an entrepreneur, you, you, you have that gut feeling where you, you're like, this, we could be onto something. And when we, when, we, when we cracked the code on this problem on the Morocco project, you know, solving it for ourselves, we said, like, we can't be the only ones that have this problem. This, could, this, this has to be a problem that exists elsewhere. The problem is most renewable energy power plants in the world and people don't realize this, up to about 30% of their power can go wasted. But to be honest with you, when it really sort of hit me that this could be huge, was when we started talking to IPPs and we were doing these calls to really you know, validate our thesis that this is a real problem and it's a big problem, and everybody was literally jumping up and down saying, this is absolutely a problem, and it just kept happening. I spoke to a big energy trading company in the UK that works with lots of IPPs, and they explained to me that if we solved wasted energy for them, it would increase their profits by 20 to 30 percent. <laughs> That's huge. As a developer, we had to figure out how to solve a wasted energy problem. And it just so happened that we had this computing capability there to solve that problem. I have a solution. I will build a facility that will consume every single megawatt that is currently wasted. What we do is we build these on-site scalable data centers that consume every megawatt from that power plant that's available. So if it's, if it's, a, if it's otherwise wasted, we will consume it. You're gonna have projects that will join the grid infrastructure, but they will have embedded capability to drive flexibility. In other words, because the grid is brittle, we can retroactively incorporate the flexibility through the actual power generation resources themselves uh, by combining it with this computing. If I'm that wind farmer, I don't care what form of computing, it's gonna be converted to cash to me. That's right. I'm gonna give you a... Not battery electrons, I want cash. That's right, I'm gonna give you a power purchase agreement that's gonna solve your wasted energy problem. I'm gonna take your wasted energy problem from 30% of your power being spilled to zero, and I'm gonna use that as a, as a raw input into my data center business that I can provide computing on a global basis that is now green. And to me, that means we have a network of data centers all over the world that are always, there's not a single moment in that data center where we're not generating money off of our processors because we're either selling compute to somebody or filling the extra time or energy with you know, crypto mining or something else. So it's like, imagine a hotel room where every room is sold every single minute. I realized that this business was more than just, you know, a technology company. It was a business model that could potentially unlock incredible amounts of renewable energy. Bitcoin can promote the growth of renewable energy beyond which it would be built. Basically, if a project is marginal or barely viable, you, you add this kind of data center that might have Bitcoin in it, might have dispatchable computing in it, but this kind of flexible data center that uses crypto to generate revenue, that gets that project built. We, we measure the potential for developing data centers by how much wasted energy we're able to consume. And so we have a pipeline of facilities that are in uh, early stages to fully functional and they're all over the world. We're gonna build a lot of these things because renewable energy, as I said, needs to become a superpower. It has to be the dominant form of energy in the world. And for it to be the dominant form of energy, we've gotta get wasted energy to zero. To get wasted energy to zero, we've gotta build a lot of these data centers around.